Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't gonna say anything because I realized I start off like every single video talking about my background because it keeps changing constantly, which I wanted to fix by having like the closet in the background, but I figure I'll use the closet background for like my fashion related videos and then I'll use this background for anything else just so that I have two different backgrounds that I can choose from. So hopefully now the backgrounds will stay consistent, but do not hold me to that because obviously I suck at that. So today's video is gonna be something I've wanted to do for a really long time, but I just didn't know if people were interested in it necessarily. Today's video is gonna be a little bit old school and it's gonna be a what's in my handbag video. These videos are personally one of my favorites to watch just because I think like maybe I'm a little bit nosy or maybe I'm looking for like more ideas on what to get for myself and handbags are just a thing that I absolutely love so I love seeing other people's handbags and what they have in them. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Saki and I make videos every week about cute fashion. And yeah, let's get started. So this is the handbag that I've been using recently. It's one of my absolute favorites from Liz Lisa and it's a medium sized bag. I thought it was considered like a small bag but I guess a lot of people on Instagram corrected me and said it was actually medium bag which I totally agree it is not very small it looks kind of small on the outside but it holds so so much as you're gonna see in a minute and it's from the I believe 2016 collection I think it came out in like winter 2016 or something like that but yes I absolutely love this bag I use it all the time and I constantly come back to it I have a lot of bags if you haven't seen my um Liz Lisa handbag collection video please go ahead and watch it but I do have so many bags but this one I will never get rid of and I love so so much so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in it Liz Lisa does a lot of these bags. I think last year they came out with another one exactly like this one. It was just like different material and more of a summer bag where this one is more of a winter bag. So yeah, it's got two compartments. There's one compartment up here that just has like a button closure. And there's another compartment right here that has a zip. So with these two compartments, they can hold like a ton of stuff. So this is just kind of what I have right now. And it's also got a pom-pom. Oh, here it is. I have to hide the pom-pom because like my dog loves to lick it. So I want to keep it in the bag just so like he doesn't chew it and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the first main compartment which I love this main compartment it's just like for stuff that I use like all the time so I don't have to open a zipper I basically just can like unbutton it and like take whatever I need out of it so the first thing that I'm pulling out of it is my wallet so this is a pretty huge wallet I am one of those people who loves like wallet on chains kind of thing if you don't know what that means it's basically a wallet like this which has like a chain attachment so this one actually has a strap I'm not sure where it is at the moment I think it might be in my work bag but yeah you basically can attach the chain right here so you can take this out of your purse and basically use it as a small clutch or a small purse I'm not going to talk too too much about this purse because it was gifted to me from my mom for my birthday and I'm going to do a what I got for my birthday video next week after my birthday has passed so I'm not going to go too much into detail about this but it is a Samantha Tavasa Tavasa I'm not really sure how you pronounce it petite choice purse so I think the petite choice line from Samantha Tavasa is just like small goods but I'm not too sure about that so I'll have to look it up but yeah so you open it up and it has a pocket in the front which I keep an eyeglasses like washcloth not washcloth like a you know the thing that cleans the lenses and I have my oil blotting paper I have some receipts and I have a Listerine pack inside it's got like three main compartments two open ones and one zip one in this compartment I have like my credit cards and stuff like that and I have some emergency Hello Kitty band-aids everything that I'm going to show you is gonna be a little bit extra because everything that I own is pink including like simple stuff like band-aids <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I have napkins, but they're from Pearl Land in Tokyo, and they look like this. They just have, like, little Sanrio characters on them, and they look like they've been used, but they're not. They're brand new. I just, like, stole a bunch from the cafeteria, and I wanted to keep them on me, like, just in case I needed tissue, so, yeah. And then I have a spare pair of contacts. These are actually the ones that I'm wearing today. I never talk about the contacts that I'm wearing. I don't know if anybody's ever interested, but I recently discovered like the one day contacts in Japan and they are so so amazing like if you wear contacts I'm seriously telling you that the one day is so much better than like the one month or the one year especially and I bought so many of these when I was in Japan and I recently found a site called Dokodemo where they have a couple brands that stock like the one day contacts and they are so so comfortable like they are the most comfortable lenses ever so I highly suggest that you check it out if you do wear contacts every day these are just the Bambi series one day in brown next I have a little hair Bobble. These are so amazing. They don't leave kinks in your hair. And then I have a small like Victoria's Secret I think perfume bottle and it's the very sexy perfume. And then I just have some more cards and oh okay this is my favorite thing that I carry around I think. So it's this. So I got this at the Sanrio Pearl Land gift shop and if you can't tell what it is right away it's because it is a secret weapon. Just kidding. So if you've never seen this before it just looks like a normal pen or something like that. But if you open it up there's scissors. 
These are super, super cool. I think I first saw these on like the stationary episode of the like NHK Kauai official, what is that show called? I don't know. It's the one that NHK does like on Kauai stuff. And yeah, I really, really wanted one. I tried to find them online, but they only have like boring colors. So I'm glad I waited until I was in Japan and bought this My Melody one because it is so cute. Like it has My Melody on it and it totally looks like a pen, but it's so deadly. I mean, not deadly, but you know, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Like I can't even, like I have to carry this around with me everywhere and they are so useful and I don't think I have anything in the zipper compartment oh wait oh this is useful I have one bot which is like the Thai money and I have one yen so that's not gonna give me anything all right that's everything that I had in my wallet so in this other compartment I have another small hair bobble and I have this like card holder where I keep like the cards that I'm actually going to use day to day it's just so that I don't have to pull them out of my wallet just because like you have to unzip it and everything and it kind of gets annoying so yeah I just keep like two or three cards that I use pretty often in here and then I also have my ID my ID picture is like super horrible so I'm not going to show you that. Alright, I don't have anything. So this bag also has like a zipper compartment in here and a zipper compartment out here but I don't have anything in there so. Alright, so we're moving into the second main compartment. The first thing that I have is my makeup bag. It's a little bit dirty right now but yeah, this is the makeup bag that I just got from Ipsy. So I use Ipsy and I love it so much. I'm the type of person who like doesn't really explore makeup that much and I have a really hard time choosing when I'm at the store so I've been really really loving Ipsy just because they they, like send you you know five small products a month and I've gotten like maybe three or four ipsy bags and I've absolutely loved everything that's come in them so yeah I would definitely recommend ipsy and I don't carry very much makeup around with me I just have like a pair of eyelashes I don't usually wear false eyelashes as you can see I do keep them just in case like I go out at night or something and I really really want to put them on and these are just I think these were Ardell I ripped up the um, top part so they could fit better but yeah they just look like this the next thing that I have are these like um, eye drops from Japan and these are so freaking amazing. So if you've never tried eye drops from Japan and you like happen to buy some from like a Japanese website or something like that, do not be alarmed when you put them in your eyes because they sting. They burn like hell. Like the first time I tried them, I thought that my eyebrows were going to fall out, but it's just because I wasn't used to them. Like, don't worry. It's totally, totally normal. So apparently the effect they have kind of is like, you know, when you get like the tired, like droopy kind of eyes and like it feels like your eyes are shutting by themselves. So if you you put them in your eyes it's kind of like giving your eyes like mint or something like that they kind of sting they kind of burn a little bit but after the burning sensation goes away your eyes feel like they're so refreshed they're so awake it's just it's it's magic like I can't tell you so I would totally recommend trying them these are in this brand FX Neo or something like that but they do have like so many brands I've tried like another one I think called like Lysi or something like that uh, but yeah do not be alarmed when you first try these and they sting because they're supposed to and then I just have like this eyeliner I don't know what brand it's from it rubbed off and then I have this Kat Von D concealer I love this concealer I'm so sad that they discontinued it I loved it so much and then I have some adhesive for my eyelashes then I have some spare stomach medicine I have this lipstick that came in my ipsy bag this month that I haven't tried yet um it's from a brand called mellow I've never heard of them and this is my holy grail lipstick I think I talked about it on my channel before but it's basically this urban decay vice liquid lipstick in the color 1993 it is my go-to like holy grail lipstick I just love this thing it's like the perfect nude shade for me and then I have some highlighter because you can never be too glowy and then I have this brush which I haven't opened I think it came with this ipsy bag that's why all right that was everything in my makeup bag so the next thing that I'm gonna pull out is this hairbrush thing it's like kind of battered and beaten but it's from Claire's I think and it's just got like a mirror ooh shiny so it's just got like a mirror on this side and it pops out and it's like a brush on this side I love this so much I use it all the time I basically this is the only like mirror thing that I have on me so I use it to like reapply lipstick and stuff like that and I just love this like little comb thing and then I have this nail polish that I'm wearing right now my nails are so so bad right now but this is the color that I've been using recently it's from Sally Hansen Hardest Nails extreme wear and it is in the color bear it all yeah it's just this it's really pretty oh the next thing that I got in here was actually now that I'm pulling a lot of stuff out of my purse I realized that I forgot to talk about so many things like my Japan haul videos like I never talked about 
Oops. Like, I never talked about this, and I never talked about the, um, like, scissors thing. Like, I just left a whole bunch of stuff out for some reason. But, yes, yeah, so this is also another thing that I got in Japan. It's just this really pink envelope-shaped Hello Kitty key ring holder. So it's got, like, beige on the bottom, and it's pink on the top, and it's got Hello Kitty. She's so cute. So I got this at the Sanrio shop in Shibuya 109, I believe, and it's just so cute. I love these things so much because, like, if you don't have, like, a card holder like I do, or if you just want, like, something small to, like, keep your, like, essential credit cards and, like, keys and stuff in this is totally cool because it has like I don't know just like a couple slots for like cards and stuff oops I'm sorry that is so loud but yeah I just keep like my keys in here but yeah there's that and the next I have a spare charger it's from the brand called Yubao I guess I love it a lot because it looks like ice cream or something like that I don't know it's super cute this one is super good I think it holds like two and a half charges maybe three charges it is amazing and then I have the lipstick no I'm not wearing this on my lips right now I have this like lipstick from Sephora that I really love it's a cream lip stain and it's really really inexpensive and it's really good and then I have my keys to my mini so I drive a mini Cooper it's a two-door high top in white and it has like pink ears not ears um they have pink mirror caps and a Hello Kitty on the top if you haven't seen my car I'm totally gonna insert a picture in here because it is super super cute and yes I have that and then I have this little keychain on it right here it has my name on it and it's like just on a pink heart and I got it from the station company called Kiki K and then the last thing that I have in here are like alcohol wipe pads or what are they called you know just like the disinfectant kind of wipes and I got them in Japan again and it's just got this really cute Hello Kitty on the top I don't think I've actually ever oh yeah I have used them oh they're kind of dried up now oh sad but yeah they just got this like really cute Hello Kitty on the top so that's why I bought them I basically bought a bunch of random useless Hello Kitty stuff too that I didn't mention like I got Hello Kitty toilet paper for some reason like at the airport like I was about to leave the airport and I saw this like Hello Kitty toilet paper and I just like had to have it so I don't know I just buy like a bunch of random stuff that's Hello Kitty all the time and yeah my bag is pretty much empty you can totally fit so much more stuff than I just showed you in here like sometimes I can fit like my small planner but yeah this bag is definitely Definitely so spacious and I just love it so much I hope Liz Lisa comes out with like more designs like this I know they came out with one last year like I said I know a lot of people don't like it when they like repeat styles or whatever but I just hope that they make another one of these because I love these so much like I can't tell you how great this bag is so yeah I guess that was a mini bag review for this thing too I think I've seen this like a couple times on like resale websites like Mercari or Frill so if you are looking for this bag I might try to link like a few links down below if I can find them all right I hope you like this really quick video I'm sorry if this isn't interesting to you I just just don't have a lot of time today to film and I really just wanted to show you guys my new setup too I think it's super cute but let me know what you think down in the comment section below and is there anything that's not in my handbag that you would have like expected me to carry or something I would really love to know so please let me know that down below as well I don't tend to carry like the whole world with me in my handbag but I'm always looking out for other stuff to buy to like you know keep in there that's like essential or cool or handy so that's why I like watching these videos but yeah if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching. Bye!